Okay, next topic in algebra in these expressions section is called collecting like terms. So first we have to know what like terms are. Like terms are, well, like this. Let's say we have square plus square plus circle. Which of these things do you think are like each other or alike? Well, if you said the two squares are like each other, you're right. These two squares are like terms. The square and the circle are not like terms. They're different. You cannot add them. Just like the old saying, um, you can't add apples and oranges. The reason why you can't add apples and oranges is because apples and oranges are different. They're not the same. They're not like terms. So here, we would say that these two squares are like terms. And the square and the circle, um, not really a proper term, I guess, that is used, but I guess we can call them unlike terms. I'm not even sure if that's a real math, proper math usage there, but you get the idea. So you cannot add or subtract unlike terms. You can add or subtract like terms. So for this, you can add these two together. You have a square plus a square. Well, that's two squares. The way you'd show that would be two squares plus just a solo leftover circle. That's as far as we can go because we can't add squares and circles, so that's your answer. That's as far as we can simplify it. Two square plus one circle. Two squares plus one circle. That's all we did. That's collecting like terms. Collect all the similar terms together, add or subtract them, whatever the question is asking you. Okay, over here. Triangle plus square plus triangle plus circle. Well, what like terms do we have? These two are unlike, they're different. These two are like, they're the same. You can add the same things. You have a triangle plus a triangle. Um, by the way, the sign in each of these situations belongs to the term right after it. So for example, this plus sign belongs to that square. This plus sign belongs to that triangle. This plus sign belongs to that circle. So whatever sign the term has in front of it, belongs to it. Just to let you know. Okay, so what did you do here? You've got a triangle plus another triangle. That's two triangles. We only have the one square, so we can just say plus one square. And we have the one circle, so plus one circle. You cannot add these because they are unlike terms. That's as far as we can go. The answer to this would be two square plus, sorry, two triangle plus square plus circle. Of course, in front of each of these things, um, I could, if I wanted to, show that there is one circle, or here, one square, one circle. In front of every um, term, there's always like an imaginary one in front of it. You don't have to put it down. In fact, I encourage you not to put it down. <coughs> Just the, the term by itself shows that there's only one. Okay, something a little different. Instead of having the shapes all separated out together, here's one where it's a little more clustered. Three cloud plus two cloud plus eight lightning bolt minus three lightning bolt. What are the like terms here? Obviously clouds are like each other, so we can add them or collect them. Three cloud plus two clouds is five clouds and before you put the plus sign there let's just see what this is eight lightning minus three lightning that's five lightning it's positive five lightning so you put plus five lightning bolt that's as far as we can go because you can't add clouds and lightning obviously there you go and also you're thinking, what is this all about? What is going on? This is the goofiest math I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, it is kind of goofy. I mean, it'll make more sense 
couple lessons down the road, but for now it's going to seem pretty goofy and hopefully pretty easy. Here, what you're going to be more used to seeing, letters in algebra, not goofy little pictures like clouds and lightning and bunny rabbit tails and whatever else. A's, you have 2A plus 5A plus some B's here, 8B minus 6B. Can you add A's and A's? Yes. A's are like terms. Can you add A's and B's? No. A's and B's are different. They are unlike terms. Only collect the like terms together. So they've already put them nicely next to each other. 2A plus 5A is 7A. And then well, I shouldn't be in a rush to put the plus there. We don't know if it's a plus. We have to actually do this. 8B minus 6B is 2B. Positive 2B. So yes, we can put a plus sign there. Positive 2B. And that's it, because you can't add A's and B's. That's the end of the question. Nothing else you can do. Okay, let's move along to the X's and Y's. 9X plus 2Y plus 3X plus 5A minus 2X. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint for questions like this. What I suggest you do, because you could just do this in your head, 9x plus 3x minus 2x, the x's are all like each other, um, but when you have them all separated out, like you have here, here, and here, it's easy to lose track of the signs. So what I like to do is pick a shape for each letter, each variable. I'm going to pick a circle for the x's. And I'm going to circle each x term and the sign in front of it. So it'll be easier for me to, to see. So put a circle around the 9x, put a circle around the 3x and the sign in front of it, because it belongs to it like I said before. And put a circle around the 2x and the sign in front of it. So now you'll notice that it jumps out to my brain that those are the like terms, and it's easier for me to do the math. 9 plus 3, which is 12, minus 2, 10x. And I'll even tell you, again, you are allowed to use a calculator now, so if you feel you need to, go right ahead. 9 plus 3 minus 2 in your calculator. To get 10x. Um, and then we're left with to y, well y's and a's are unlike, so nothing else you can do with the y's, so you just leave it as plus 2y. And here, none of the other a's, you just leave it as plus 5a. Now, a little mind, like this is right, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Some people like to put the letters in alphabetical order. So if you were going to do that, not a big deal, you're going to this 5a would go first alphabetically. It would take this sign with it, 5a. You don't have the plus 5a in front because that means positive. Uh, x would come next alphabetically, 10x. There's an imaginary positive sign there, so we'll put a positive 10x and 2y. So if you want to be really nitpicky, um, I mean, this is correct. But I guess the really correct one would be this because the person has actually put it in alphabetical order. But both of them are right. Okay. Anyways, example five. Let's take a look here. Some more negative signs. Let's collect all the x's together. Let's put circles around the x's. 6x circle. 3x. And the sign in front of it. Negative 5x. And the sign in front of it. And we get some y's. Let's put, uh, I don't know, let's put a square around the y's. And the sign in front of it. And the 5y with the sign in front of it. So now it's just a matter of adding all the circles and squares. Just like we did up the, the first few examples. 6x plus 3x is 9. Minus 5x, 4x. And then, with the y's, 2y minus 5y 
2 minus 5, you have 2, you're down 5, you're down 3y. So the answer in this one is 4x minus 3y. All right. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, this whole circles and squares thing, I don't need to do that. I can just do it in my head. And, you know, if you can, go right ahead. But in questions like this, you may want to join the circles and squares thing. Okay, so we got A's and B's, and we got some C's as well. So I personally like to do this whole circles and squares thing. It, it seems to help my brain um, out quite a bit. I'm going to put circles around all the A's and the sign in front of them. Circle, circle, that's it for the A's. Now the B's will put a square around them and the sign in front of it. The B and the sign in front of it. B and the sign in front of it. And the C's, um, circle, square, let's go triangle. And the sign in front of it the C with the sign in front. Okay, so now we have the circles negative 5a minus 3a. So you're down 5, you're down 3, you're down 8. And that's it for the circles or the a's. So you're down 8a. They're taken care of. Now let's go after the b's, or as I made them, squares. And you don't have to pick squares, and certainly you pick whatever shapes you want. 3b minus 7b. You have 3, you lose 7, you're down 4. So you're negative 4b. Negative 4 plus 2, you're down 4, you're up 2, you're still down 2b. Now, if you want, what some people do is they, uh, when they do the circles and squares thing, they actually put um, the circled terms together, so they could have put the negative, they could have re rewrote this question and put negative 5a minus 3a, put them next to each other, all the squares next to each other, and all the triangles next to each other. If that helps you get the right answer, go for it. Um, and then the triangles, or the c's, we got 5c minus, what is this? How many c's is this? Well, like I said before, if there's no number in front, it's an imaginary 1, 1c. So 5c minus 1c is 4c, positive 4c, so it's plus 4c. That's as far as you can go. That's the answer. Okay, how about this one here? 8y plus 4 without a letter, minus 3y minus 10 plus w. Well, what do you do with just the numbers by themselves? Well, there's no letter. So this number by itself is not a like term with the letters, but numbers by themselves are like terms with other numbers by themselves. So if we do the circles and squares thing, let's start with circles around the y's. Circle and circle. Don't forget to also, when you do this whole circles and squares thing, to put the sign in front of it in the circle to show that it belongs to that term. So those two, let's put them together. 8y minus 3y is 5y. Now let's put squares around just the numbers. The numbers by themselves are a separate term on their own. So the positive 4, the negative 10. 4 minus 10. You have 4, you lose 10, you're down 6. You're left with just this, plus w. Nothing else you can do with the w, there's only one of them. That's your answer. So here, instead of putting the circles and squares around them all at once, I put them one at a time, and that might be easier for you to do. Again, lots of different ways to do this. Pick whatever way works for you. Okay, now, this looks hard, but it actually isn't. 3w and 3w squared. First off, don't freak out. This square is only squaring the w, not the 3. So you don't have to do any crazy math stuff where you have to go, oh my god, uh, 3 to the power 2 is 9. No, no, no. This w squared is different than this w. 
they're not like terms. This k squared is different from this w squared, which is different from all from this w here. The only like terms that we have are the w squared and this w squared. So these two terms are like terms, the w squareds. And when you add them, don't you don't have to do anything with the w squares themselves. You just treat them as like another letter. So instead of saying 5w to the power 4, no, 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 no. It's just 3w squared plus 2w squared, which is how many w squareds? 3 plus 2, 5w squared. Again, the square is only squaring the letter, which we don't even know what it is, so it's not going to make any impact on our final answer over here. It's just 5w squared. And then you've got a w here, 3w, and no one else is like with that 4k squared, so you just leave it as 4k squared. Again, alphabetically, you'd put the k first, and then actually if you have a w squared and a w, the squared thing goes first before the unsquared thing, just in case you're wondering. But that's fine. You don't have to do it in alphabetic order. All right. Uh, last example question. Double signs. Remember double signs? What to do with them? So the first thing what I would do here is before I do the whole circles and squares thing is let's get rid of the double signs. I'm going to rewrite this question without the double signs. Okay, so when I do this, 4g plus minus. What happens when I have a plus minus? Well, that turns into a minus. The signs are different. Remember, remember from like October. That's a minus sign. 2g minus 3. A double sign here. Signs are the same, so it's positive. 2a. Signs are different, so it's negative 4. Now it's like a standard question from above. Let's do the circles and squares. Sign in front of it. Circle, sign in front of it. No more g's. 4g minus 2g is just 2g. What about the numbers? Negative 3 minus 4. Those two, you're down 3, you're down 4 more, you're down 7. And just left with the 2a, you'd have positive 2a. If you were going to go alphabetical order, you would have 2a first. Then you think, oh, who next? The g or the, the number? The number goes last. So you get the, the letters get to go first. So 2a plus 2g minus 7. This minus sign belongs to the 7. Again, either way, it doesn't really matter. That is it. Here's your skill testing questions. I suggest that you do the circle trick, circles and squares that will help or trick whenever you can. Talk to you later. Bye.